Okay, so today I'm gonna be discussing Cassandra, and the first thing I want to talk about is uh, start with notable moves. First thing is two three six plus G, and when I say two three six plus G, I mean when you do the six, you want to simultaneously press and hold the G. But you only have to hold it for that moment, because if you just hold, uh, if you just do two three six and then G. Uh, it's uh, you can get like hit out of it and stuff like that, and it's not like it's not like an instant dash cancel block. It acts kind of like um, I guess sort of like step guard in a sense, but you dash forward um, immediately, and this is amazing for getting you know it's a super safe way of getting in on your opponent. Uh, you know, closes the gap and opens up your offense. And then, you know, you can just do whatever the hell you want, and you have access to a whole moveset from there. Um, but yeah, that's super important when you're fighting somebody like Ivy, or in a sense like Astaroth, too. So, you really need this to get in. So, so again, you know, hold the 6 and the G at the same time, and then, you know, you can just let go after that. So it should look like that. If you're doing it wrong, it's gonna look like this. So you see how she doesn't instantly cancel out of her uh, dash when you do it this way, but then you do it the other way, and it's safe like the whole time you do that. So yeah, it's pretty much like step guard. Okay. Anyway, uh, her AA is 11 frames, so it's one of the fastest AAs in the game. The only one, the only person that probably has a fast one is probably like Taki, somebody like that. But her her A is amazing. It uh it jails on block when you do both hits. So when I say that, what that basically means is um, if you block the first hit, if they, if they block the first hit, and you know, you do both hits, they can't duck the second hit. They have to sit there and block it. So, her AA is much better than Sophie's in that sense. And the fact that it's a frame faster, uh, both A's, you know, leave you at a fair frame disadvantage. Nothing too bad, though. So, you know, they're, they're still safe. Uh, and it's a natural combo. Uh, BB, her BB is 13 frames. And the second hit, super delayable like that. But it's unsafe at block at minus 12 for both hits. When I say both hits, I mean, you know, when you do both of those hits. Um, but it's still pretty hard to punish for somebody like Astaroth or... Sophie could do something like, you know, AA to punish that. Uh, it tracks super well. It's, um, it's a natural combo on regular hit, and it's hit confirmable. But yeah, it tracks really well up close. So, not too bad of an idea, but if they know frame data, they can punish that pretty easily. Uh, AK is a natural combo on regular hit. It's uh, unsafe on block, though, at minus 13. And it's plus one to neutral on hit. More so plus one. So you can you know, continue your offense from there. Do AK and then like BK, which I'll explain that now. BK is your probably generally your much better option for that. Though I think it's a bit more linear than her A plus K. I mean her AK. BK is uh, it's plus five on hit, so it gives you massive frame advantage, and on block it's also plus. It's a uh, plus one, I believe, on block. But I think the A can be steps to her left, if I'm not mistaken. I think most of her, like a lot of her stuff, her left is her weaker side. In general. Uh, okay, what else do I want to say about that? Um, but yeah, be that moves amazing for offense since it leaves you at such an advantage. And that's all I want to say about that. Uh, I'll talk about A plus B now. A plus B is a super good move because it, uh, it tech jumps and it's got pretty good range too. And it's a natural combo on hit. And you get a 3B follow up for 70 points of damage, which is pretty damn good. But I fucked up the first part. Okay, there you go. Sorry, I messed that up. Um, 
But yeah, so that's pretty damn good. Safe on blog and it tracks pretty damn well. Also. Uh, the B plus K. You can hit confirm this. So it's... But it's safe on block. It's plus three on hit. Uh, you could commit to the B follow up and get a 236B for a lot of damage. But the only thing with that is it's super unsafe. So when I say that move, I mean this. But I mean... 236B seems to whiff on certain characters, but bigger characters, it'll, you know, hit them. I think it also depends on, you know, where you, their hitbox is and your timing. I think you got a buff for that earlier. I'm messing it up big time. Alright. Alright, well, the wall doesn't really count, but... So maybe the 2-3-6-B isn't really a combo after that. Uh, 6-6, six, six, command grab, 6-6-B six, six, plus G. That's not what it looks like. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, 6-6-B six, six, plus G, look like that. As you can see, it doesn't do that much damage, but uh, you're supposed to get a combo off after that. It's a 10 frame break, so it's a little harder to break than the majority of regular grabs in this game. Which are roughly 14 frames. Uh, B break, as I mentioned. Tap forward. Tap you get uh, for the the best combo for your damage is you want to tap forward once. So you know you do the six and then you do three A plus B. But you gotta time it good. It's not the easiest thing to time. So it'll look like this. There you go, 74 points of damage. It's just easier to do against the wall, though. Right. Let me try it not against the wall now. Alright, I still managed to get it, but... That's the best combo to do for that. It's a lot of damage. Uh, uh, but if you can't do that, you can just do 4-4-B um, four, four uh, four, four plus K instead. 66 points roughly um, so that's pretty good still if you can't consistently get the 3 plus B off um, her 1A is decently fast low it's not that easy to react to but it's got it's got a somewhat decent range it's like it's more like a close to mid range kind of move this tracks uh, fairly well um, but a sharp player can react to that and block it it's minus 15 on block, but when your opponent blocks it, it messes with the um, the buffer timings of their attack that they would want to do to try to punish that. So it's so it's like somewhat safe. Like if they try to um, hit you with like a 15 frame move, it's probably not going to work, and you know it's probably your move's going to be considered safe for that. But uh, you know, like a much faster move would probably be able to punish it, but. Usually super fast moves are something you'd have to be up close for. And okay, well maybe that might not be too much of an issue. But okay. Uh, her grab range isn't really that good, so you have to be somewhat close to your opponent if you want to grab them. Let's see. Yeah, see. Okay. It's still better than like Mitsu's. Mitsu's is really horrible grab range. Uh, but in terms of the damage that her grabs do, her B grab does a little bit above average damage at 60 points, 55 being the average. And uh, her other grab, her A grab, does uh, average damage at 55 points. That was her back grab. Same thing. Right, I'm trying to get a side grab off. Okay, so you know, gen all in all, she does roughly average damage with her grabs. Some do a little bit above average. Uh, <clears throat> her two way, you know, standard two way, really safe on block, a little bit plus on hit, and it's good for building up your offense and your pressure game. Great advantage on a hit. Uh, 
Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you can jump over that though. Uh, it's the only issue with that, so you can't abuse that too much. 6A plus K is um, a counter hit combo. And if you only get the second hit on counter hit, it'll knock down. And then you can do something like 4-4 uh, four, four, B plus K for some pretty good damage. Uh, it's, it's not that safe on block, unfortunately. But it's still not the easiest thing to punish. So, you know, it's, it's not safe, but it's not, like, really unsafe. Uh, 1k is a really good low. Uh, it's somewhat hard to step. And gives you really good advantage on hit. Uh... On a counter hit, you get a knockdown, and the best thing to do is 1A, because it covers all spots. So that's the most reliable thing you can do. It's it's very unsafe. It's pretty unsafe on block at minus 15, though. So that's a bit of an issue. Uh, then she's got 2K, which is, you know, just like Sophie's. It's good, safe, low poke that leaves slight advantage on hit, but it can be stepped to her left, just like Sophie's. So, basically, same thing. Uh, okay, 2BBK. K is like a somewhat... It's not like... I think it's like a three-frame length that you have to do, or some shit like that. So, anyway. Counter hit combo hit confirmable. It's hit confirmable, so... But the K will look like this. I actually managed to get it off when I said it. <laughs> yeah, so when I say it's hit convertible, when you see the red spark when you do this, then you can, you know, do the second part and then try to get the K in as well if you can. <clears throat> uh, okay, 1B. 1B on hit uh, leaves you at a small disadvantage. I think it's like minus 1 or minus 2 around there. Uh, and it's minus 11 on block, so it's unsafe, but it's still hard to punish that. But it hits, it hits grounded. Uh, 3B is good for people that like Twitch Duck, but it's minus 16 on block, so it's pretty unsafe. Uh, it's best used for like combos and stuff. Which, you know, I'll show you the combos that it's used in later on. Uh, 6B is a great, it's a really good safe poke. Uh, it's got pretty good range on it too, but the only problem is, as you can see, it's a high. So they can duck that, and it's linear, so they can step it pretty easily as well. So you don't want to abuse it too much. 8B is their best jumping attack. Her only really good one, I think. Yeah, you don't want to use that. That's really unsafe, so. So that's pretty much like your only really jumping tool that you want to use with her. 8B. And it gives you really good advantage on hit, so you can um, continue your offense, and it's safe on block. 3K catches step well up close. And it's safe on block. Uh, okay, 2-2-A-A. Two, two, a, a. Uh, well, on this side, you want to do 8-8-A-A. Eight, 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 eight. If I was on the other side, you would do 2-2-A-A. Two, two, eight, eight. You don't want to do the 8-8-A-A, eight, 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 really, because it doesn't knock down like that does. And it's got decent ring-out capabilities. It's a natural rig It's a natural combo. Uh, not that safe on block. Don't so really have to say about that. 6-6-A. Six, six, uh... I don't really like this move that much, because as you can see, the range on it is not that good. She's she's pretty bad when it comes to uh, having any ranged attacks and stuff. But uh, the next move I mentioned is actually her best range move. But yeah, the range is meh, and it's uh, minus 14, so not that safe. It's unsafe. 6-6 uh, BB. 
it's a combo on regular hit. Tracks pretty well. Um, I think it's weaker to the left side. And safe on block, and it's really good for whiff punishing stuff. So if you see somebody mess up, you can just go in and get that really quick. 1-1 uh, one, one BB is a decent low poke at far range. It's got clear weaknesses though, like it's pretty linear. Uh, leaves you big disadvantage on block, so possible punishment. And it's plus 5 on hit, so you can continue your offense with that. 3-3B, uh, three, three uh, not really that great of a move since it's easily sidestepped, but it's safe, and it's a soul charge level 1 guard break, as you can see. 4-4-B uh, four, four is a super unsafe move, but you get 2-3-6-B um, afterwards, up close, if I don't mess it up. There you go, it's not too easy to get off, but... I don't really recommend using that move that much. It's not that great. 2-3-6-A-B uh, is a natural combo. Unsafe on block, though. Uh, 6-6-A six, six, plus B is a... It's got pretty good range. But it's minus 16 on block, so it's unsafe. And it's somewhat linear, so you can step it pretty easily. And it knocks down, as you can see as well. Um, if you're up close, when you do it, I think 1A is a confirmable combo after that. Uh, I don't remember if there's a Soul Charge for it. Oh, okay, well, there you go. There's a Soul Charge. It's a Soul Charge level 3 unblockable. So, that's pretty cool. Just don't be predictable with that, of course. 2-3-6-B, uh, I'm gonna talk about this. This is a really good move. It's a uh, Soul Charge level 1, right? Yeah, okay. So that's a Soul Charge level 1 guard break. It's 14 frames, so it's really good for punishing stuff. But uh, it's unsafe on block. And you end a lot of combos with it. That's what I can say about that. Oh yeah, and it rings out really well too. Uh, while Rising B, it's a safe, fast mid, um, hits grounded as well, and it tracks really well to her left. 3-3-K, uh, it's a really fast low, but it's also pretty unsafe. So it's, I don't really recommend using it that much, but yeah, it's hard to see coming. Let me see the damage compared to. Okay, they do identical damage, so you know you're better off just doing 2K because it uh, it's safe and it does you know barely does less damage. Uh, 4A. Oh yeah, I want to talk about these uh, these GI moves she has. 4A and 4B. 4A GI's horizontal attacks, which are you know. Those are generally A attacks. Um, for the most part, it's not really that useful. It's safe on block, though. But minus 10. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, maybe you can use it for Astroth's PT? I don't know. I, I still think that's really risky, though. She doesn't really do well against his PT. Uh, 4B, G GI's verticals. But it's also very unsafe on block. It's like minus 17, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, let me talk about combos now. 4-4-A, <clears throat> four, four, if you hold the A, you get 3-B, uh, so you do 4-4-A, four, four, hold the A, 3-B, 2-3-6-B, and that'll look like this. And that's our highest damaging combo, which does roughly, like, 48% health, so that's pretty great. Uh, that's really good for, like, post-GI. Can't abuse the 4-A too much, since it's a high. If you do it normally, though, I think that's it's like super safe. Um, it's good for pressure. Uh, okay, 
other combos. Counter hit 3AB into 236B. That does a lot of damage, as you can see. Counter hit 44A, B. Wait, did I get that right? Oh, yeah, I know what that is. Okay. Okay, counter hit 44A, B. The second hit's very unsafe, though. So. So just be careful with that. Uh, counter hit P plus K, B. As I mentioned, you have to commit to this if you want to. But that's very unsafe. But then uh, you could just do something like this and then do like a low. So you don't have to, you know, reliably commit on that too much. You can just, you can just uh, use it to like intimidate your opponent up close. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah. Then, then there's 3B, 236B, which should be given. As I mentioned, the other combo before. Uh, 4, 4, B, and the 2, 3, 6, B, as I mentioned. <clears throat> 6, 6, K into 2, 3, 6, A, B. Oh. Uh, 8, oh yeah, and then this is like one of your biggest ones that you'll be using. That I mentioned before. While rising A, if you can hold the A, and then you get 4, 4, B plus K. But doing this, it's very unsafe, just to let you know. Uh, counter hit B6, you get 4, 4, B plus K after that. And I look like this. And that does pretty good damage. Um, I made a small list of a few good post-GI options you could do. Uh, there's 4, 4, A, of course. And then you could just do the... Regular 4A if you're gonna GI. I mean, if you think you're not gonna GI. Uh, A plus B, that falls right out of the GI window. So, that's good for that. Uh, 1A, good option. 236B, but it's unsafe if they decide to 2G you, or, you know, just GI it back. But it's pretty fast, and it's really good if their back's against the edge of the ring. 66A plus B, of course. Um,. I put 2-2-B two, two in here. I guess that's just to put them in another post-GI situation. Uh, okay, and then suggested play style. You always want to try to be up close and keep up your pressure on your opponent. Force constant mix-ups. She lacks good tracking. Attacks with range. That's her big problem. You know, our best move with that is 6-6-B-B. So can be kind of a pain to get up close, so you have to really rely on, you know, 236 plus G to do that. So that's a like safe way of getting in. But, yeah. Have to be patient. And with somebody like Ivy. Especially. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, best range attack, 66BB, 236 plus G. To potentially, to patiently get in. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind that her... Her mid-range is not so... Her mid-range long-range game is not so great. So she has to be up close a lot of the time. And... Okay, that's it.